I actually saying that out loud, I sound like a terrible mom. I'm just so clumsy. I feel claustrophobic in my own Botox. No, I've never used a disguise because it's not my, my face I would need to disguise, it's my voice. But sometimes I ring the bank and they're like, oh, is that a Stacey? Yeah, I mean, if they're ever about to do something that I think could potentially be dangerous, I'll make up a story about somebody else doing it and they die. It could literally be like, oh, well, you know, <laughs> the boy didn't tie his shoelaces. He tripped over, fell down a hole and died. <laughs> so you better tie his shoelaces. I actually say that out loud, I sound like a terrible mom. <laughs> no, although I tried Botox once, hated it. I've got such an expressive face. I mean, you can see it. And then I, I got it here and I just couldn't do my upside down frown. I couldn't get angry or sad, I was just like this. And I thought, how do people live, like live, I felt trapped. <laughs> I felt claustrophobic in my own Botox. Yeah, I was a terrible waitress. I loved it. That's the sad part of this story is that I loved waitressing. I'm just so clumsy. My, I kid you not when I say my dry cleaning bill for spilling stuff on people was higher than my actual wages. So I just never earned any money because I just dropped stuff on people's clothes. I'd be like, oh, what? I don't know, I was like a weevil. I don't know why I couldn't hold on to things. I have lost countless very loud toys that my children possess. Yes, I've lost a drum kit. Yes, I lost the, one of those glockenspiel things. Yep, lost a rattle. <laughs> Anything, people seem to love buying you gifts that make a lot of noise, but they are so annoying. The kids love it, but it's annoying. So we have often, mum, have you seen that drum set I had? <laughs> and I'm like, no, it must have disappeared. That would kill me from the inside out. I would want a hole in the ground to open up. No, I've never said that. It actually makes me cringe even thinking about it. Yes, I get starstruck all the blooming time. <laughs> I often feel like I've got imposter syndrome. So everyone I meet, I'm just like, oh my God. I got really overwhelmed when I met the in-betweeners. Like I lost it. <laughs>